Today we're starting a vegan mini-series with a colorful braised red cabbage. For some unknown to me reason, people don't cook red cabbage as much as they should, and I'm as guilty of this oversight as the next person. I mean, I get it, red cabbage is not asparagus, you can't just throw it whole on the grill for two minutes. There's chopping, and a lot of stirring. It all takes time, but the results are truly phenomenal and worthy of a weekend cooking project. Let's cut the cabbage in half. Wow, it's a toughie, but so pretty inside. Using the tip of the knife, cut the cabbage lengthwise, but keep it attached at the core. We want it to stay in one piece to speed up chopping. Now use the back of the knife to slice it very thinly crosswise. Don't forget to duck in your fingertips. Alternatively, you can cut cabbage into large wedges and shred it using the slicing disc on your food processor. When you get to the end, Tilt the cabbage forward and make incisions with the tip of the knife that radiate out from the core. Then work your way around the cabbage, slicing it thinly. Discard the tough core and repeat with the other half. Move all the cabbage into a large stainless steel pan. I love this particular pan for this dish because it has a very large surface area for browning and tall sides that give me plenty of room to hold a whole head of cabbage. I'll link to it below this video. Set the pan over high heat. Add a quarter cup of olive oil and a generous pinch of salt. Stir to combine and then leave the cabbage alone so that it can brown. This will take at least five minutes. When you pick up a bit of cabbage from the bottom and it looks brown, stir the cabbage to redistribute it. Then leave it alone again until you get more browning. Repeat the step three to four times until the cabbage shrinks a lot and develops many brown spots. As the cabbage browns faster, you can lower the heat a bit. While our cabbage is browning, let's put one large diced yellow onion into a 10 inch skillet. Add two tablespoons of olive oil, a pinch of salt, and stir to combine. Cook over medium heat until the onion is translucent and tender, stirring occasionally. Don't forget to tuck in all the onions every time you stir, and if they start browning before becoming translucent, lower the heat. Here they are after 10 minutes. And seven minutes later, they're translucent and golden, so we can take them off the heat. Let's check up on our cabbage. Look at all the lovely brown bits we got in the first step. That's thanks to using a stainless steel pan. The next step will pick them all up and integrate them into our dish. Let's add half a cup of dry, tart cherries. Raisins or chopped prunes would also be lovely. Pour in half a cup of port or Madeira wine and immediately cover the pan. Reduce the heat to low and cook for 10 to 15 minutes or until cabbage is tender. Now it's time to add our golden onions. This will give the cabbage great savoriness and depth of flavor. I'll also add one tablespoon of pomegranate molasses. This brightens up the dish with much needed acidity. If you don't have it, use balsamic or some other vinegar to taste. I tasted my cabbage and decided I need a pinch of salt. Give it all a stir and, of course, a taste. Mm, perfect. It's so good, I need another spoon. You can also add some chopped toasted nuts for crunch. This is such a delightful fall dish. It does take work, but produces a large quantity of cabbage that you can easily rewarm the next day. Or better yet, use it in quinoa cakes. We'll make those next week. So don't forget to subscribe to Helen's Kitchen channel so that you don't miss that video. And if you're ever in the Boston area, maybe I'll see you in one of my classes.